Oh, okay, we're good now. Hello, everyone. Um, I have quite a lot going on here. I have my food. Uh, can you see? Oh, no, you can't see it. I have food to the right of me. Um, I'm working right now, so my work laptop is literally on the ground. And so if you hear like a pinging during this video, it's because I'll have to just quickly search over and look look at chats. And then my glasses are broken. I don't know if I shared this before, but these actually broke in September. And I've just been going like literally like one, um, what's this, like uh, ear rest, eye rest or something? I don't know what it's called. A uh, handle? I'll just call it a handle. One handle on these, so... I have contacts too, but I'm not obviously not wearing them right now. But um, yeah, so quite a lot going on, and um, it is a work day, so like my hair is all kind of fucked up a little bit. But yeah, well, anyway, I kind of look like this in general anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Um, I need to get rid of this light, honestly. Anyway, it's because that shit just seems like distracting. Anyway. This One Piece chapter, I haven't done one in a minute, and I've heard, like, this is live reaction worthy, and, um, I didn't get spoiled, spoiled, but, um, so I saw Sergio, uh, Redon's, um, his, I follow his Twitter, and he sent out, like, a hint, he sends out, like, hints for the spoilers, like, he'll send out, like, very vague, mysterious tweets that, um, they mean something for, like, the spoilers of the chapter, and so he sent out the, um, a gif of, of a planet. And at first I thought it was Uranus. Um, I mean, it was orange and there was rings around it. So naturally I thought Saturn. Um, but maybe I think it was like hitting at Uranus maybe. And then, so, you know, I was thinking like, oh, are we going to see Uranus this chapter? I don't know, right? But yeah, everyone was saying this shit was live reaction worthy. And then there's this other chat that I'm a part of. Like I saw the name Jergerica Saturn. So uh, I don't know what that is, what that means. But I can just assume that um, Saturn, like it's a planet sort of thing. Um, so unfortunately this may not be, I mean, it's still, it's a live reaction because I haven't read the chapter. I haven't seen the raws and I haven't read spoilers, right? So this is still like a genuine live reaction, but I did see that one piece. So it's got me like, no pun intended. I seen that one piece. Uh, no pun intended. Um, it, it does have me like thinking like about like, okay, what does that mean? And I guess when you have Pluton, Poseidon and Uranus as, um, they're named after gods, right? None. And planets like in the in our solar system are named after gods too right but um maybe it's something to do with that the other thing is that um there's a lot of like planetary stuff when it comes to like just science when it comes to one piece so i was also thinking maybe this is like vegapunk's one of his um like maybe maybe that was the dude he was talking to on the phone like in one of, or was it him or lily well technically it's him if it is Lil lilith or pythagoras i think right um, but it was that who they were talking to, like, on the phone? Like, oh, damn, the guy's, like, super bright all of a sudden. Damn, that was crazy. Um, is that who they were talking to on the phone, like, a couple chapters before? Who knows? But anyway, with that being said, let us get into this live reaction. So chapter 10, 1073, let me just... Oh, shit, I gotta... Never mind. I just had to check my team's shot for ch uh, for work, so let me just keep. Let's start this. Okay, chapter tenth. Uh, uh, so what's the title of the chapter? Uh, Miss Buckingham Stussy. Okay. Yeah. So that was kind of a good reveal that she's a rocks pirate. So uh, just a comment on that. Like you see, like how things have been leading up to Vega Punk since Punk Hazard, basically, even before that, really, with like Frankie and his lasers and him going into Baltimore, like during the pre time skip and everything or um, during the time skip and everything. So things have been, like, slowly building up to, like, Vegapunk, uh, first to Kaida, now to Vegapunk, and now with the introduction of Rox through the beginning of Wano, you can sort of feel that coming, right? Like, Rox is mentioned, then Zabak, then all these guys were, like, previous members, and now you have, like, a clone of a previous member in there, too. So um, what I mean by the Vegapunk stuff is, like, you know, we started in Punk ha well, before that with Frankie's planning in Baltimore, then Punk Hazard stuff, then the smiles and all these different things right then his name was mentioned like manipulating like kaido's li all these different mentions of vegapunk basically that of you know which i i theorized that we would see him after wano at the end of wano or after wano and that came true and the same thing with kaido too right like kaido like he's his emperor and um all these different things that have happened like on zo and the whole in whole cake island um 
you know, uh, Law, like, cutting the gear against Virgo. Dofi is, like, the supplier to Kaido. The, those things were leading up to him during Wano, right? So, similarly, that's what I'm talking about here with um, with not only Zebek, but Rox as a whole. So, anyway. So, let's take a look. Uh, Cold-Blooded Voyage awarded the Ibel Peace Prize for developing the GP flower, a flower that blooms in gunpowder. So, yeah, you see... Okay, so it seems like Mads was just um, uh, made up of Vega, Queen, Judge, and Caesar, and presumably Stussy. We'll see. That looked like her on the cover before. But I was kind of like... Um, I, I mean, I've talked about this before, but um, I mean, I'm going to do a big uh, video on it uh, when we get closer to the ending of One Piece because I, um, I have a... I, I don't know what the One Piece is. No one, none of us do. We can just theorize like what it is. But I am ninety nine percent confident. I'm like I'm willing to bet money on this that One Piece, whatever it is, it illustrates a certain motif and theme in the series. Um, and I'm not talking about freedom. I'm not talking about fire. I'm not talking about like you know some of these other the, some some of the things that you know YouTubers and people online have. Really caught. I think I'm 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 talking about a theme or, or something that I don't think many people have noticed in in um in One Piece. And if it is, if if I am correct about this, um, which I'm pretty sure I am, but if I am correct about like what this theme is and Oda being intentional in, in trying to put this theme like in the series, then um, that also requires a discussion on you know my favorite series and most of our favorite series, Dragon Ball. What that means exactly, I'll say for the video. But it, 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 if if I'm correct, like the way that it comes together is just beautiful, and Oda's like a god tier mangaka. So anyway, anyway, we'll keep it for that. Um, but the other thing that I noticed also was I was always wondering like why they were called Mads, and I just realized the other day that Mads probably stands for Mad Scientist. That's probably like where the the the, the nomenclature came from. So yeah. Mads, mad scientist. Interesting stuff. Anyway, uh, yeah, let's get on with the chapter. Uh, Ibo Peace Prize. Yeah, so obviously a pun on words or um, a parody of Nobel Peace Prize. So let's keep going. Uh, let's see, what's Oda's comment? I went to see Otto-san's. Let me get some water. You guys heard that ping. My boss mentioned me. Uh, okay, uh, someone else can document that. We have a big prop, so um, I won't say I don't want to say where I work or what I do because I like to keep it on the down low. But uh, documentation is a big part; it should be a big part of my position. But it's just no time to do it, and in this case, no time to do it because I'm live reacting to this chapter. So anyway, I went to see Adasan's live with Nakata-san, Vondi, and Orisaka-san. Man, what incredible vocal range! It was amazing. Okay, so you, I think these are the people from, or Otto is from Red, the voice of Red, uh, uh, the voice of you, the voice of Red, the voice of Utah. So, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I didn't do a film. I, sh I think I should do a film Red review, right? I probably should. I didn't. Uh, I thought it was a decent movie. Honestly, you know, for all the shit that I gave Dragon Ball Super superhero, I think that was that might have been the better Toei movie, to be honest with you. But Red was good because there was a lot of like new shit that was introduced. Like you didn't think like that was possible, and that last climax was pretty nice, you know. Especially the attacks of two particular red-haired pirates. So, and just the team ups in general. Anyway, anyway, let's keep that. Lucci's reaction to betrayal. Yeah, so, um, yeah, Buckingham Stussy, you know, the clone. So these palm trees, I've noticed we've seen them before. Um, I made a tweet about this. So this was, I think these palm trees were the same ones that were used um, on the island where Roger and Whitebeard fought, like in the flashback. And then even before that, they were shown like in a, um, they were shown in a, um, 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 some sort of like a cover uh, during the pre-time skip, like, 133 or something. So I wonder, like, if these trees, like... I mean, I know they're just palm trees. I don't think they're, like, anything too special. But I wonder, like, like he's drawing the same type of tree. I wonder if, like, it's supposed to mean anything, you know? Anyway, let's go. I'm just taking a look at the artwork. Yes, there's, like, cactus and palm trees put together. It's all, like, you know, imagination and... Just all these bunch of things just, like, put together, so... Anyway. 
Kaku, this is a bitter pill to swallow. Yeah. Damn, so Kaku is knocked out, huh? Paper arts. Wait, paper arts? Heartbreak after image? Paper arts? So when you don't understand, your first instinct is to go for the kill. Dude, Luchi is such a government... Dude, I can't believe at one point Luchi... I mean, Luchi is a fine villain, but I can't believe he was my favorite at one point, dude. That was just me, like, just looking at him, like, as a pure martial arts. Like, you know, this is when I didn't really... Con I mean, I considered character, but... I didn't really think, like, go too granular with the character, though, dude. So, paper arts. Paper? What, what the fuck is... is so, is this, like, a... Is this some sort of, like, Rokushiki, like, after-image technique? Because, no, but if she, uh, so she's a clone, she's a clone of a rocks pirate, and she has some, so, okay, so, paper art, so, the question here, is this the devil fruit, or is it the, you know, her bat wings? You know, people were saying she was a succubus, which I think is a pretty good guess. But I don't know, you know, like, succubus and, like, all that things together, like, they're supposed to be, like, sultry, like, characters you know like they're supposed to be like deceptive and uh wily and conniving you know so maybe paper arts illusion maybe that's just part of her devil fruit i don't, I don't know i'm not sure i got another ping this is gonna be annoying god damn it um Sorry, this is the part of like doing this like while you're working, right? Sorry, that's like kind of an important message. So anyway, um, yeah, so what was I saying? Yeah, so succubus and paper. Okay, so paper arts. She like dodged, but she dodged it too, right? Like, I don't, well, was she just looking? Yeah, okay, she was just looking, okay. So I wonder, is this like a, like a, like one of those like, you know, like substitute in Pokemon, one of those like um, wood substitute like for like a clone, one of those things, or... Um, yeah, I, yeah, I'm not. I'm not sure uh, what's going on there. Anyway, let's just keep going. Another fucking ping. Okay, please stop pinging now. I want to read this fucking chapter. Okay. My my, you're so wild. Sea still what? So she has. Sea stone for lipstick? I gotta eat too. Hmm. I'm just chewing. Give me a sec. So. Does she, I, I mean, I guess it's like a, like, just like an accessory, but wasn't she seen like putting like sea stone, like during whole cake Island, if I'm not mistaken, like, I, I'm pretty sure I'm not confusing it for that one cover where Robin is like dressed in like Indian clothing and she's like using, I, I think it's Indian clothing and she's using lipstick. I don't think I'm confusing her, but I swear there was like a point she was using like actual lipstick, like whole cake Island. So is this the same thing or is this just like a, like, you know, just like a decoration, like an accessory slash weapon? Because why would she apply sea stone? Like, if it is, like, something that's real. If it is. Why would she apply sea stone to her lip? Well, it's weird. But maybe she, like, kisses someone and just, like, you know, invalidates them somehow. You know? She can kiss a devil fruit user and take away their power. That'd be kind of interesting. Or, I mean, we've seen that before, like, in other series. But it would be, like, it, w it would fit very well here, you know? My, my, you're so wild. Tap. Sea stone. What the fuck? Dude. Chomp. Damn, look at Hattori. Hattori's like, cuckoo. <laughs> That's tight. 
And then her wings came out. Damn. I like the I like the way Oda drew um I'm not talking about the right panel, I'm I'm talking about like where you see Luchi being bitten. I like the way that Oda drew um what's his, what's her name? Uh Stussy here. So is something going on with this arm? Or is it just like stretched out? Okay, is that just the folds of his clothes, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, but I like the I like the way he drew her here, like just like leaning over and biting. It's not it's not like overly like something like too like distinct, but it's pretty nice. You bitch. I know how strong you boys are. Finding fair and square would have been stupid, forgive me. Oh, okay. So Luchi, okay, so Luchi's stronger than Stussy. Okay, Luchi's stronger than a Rocks member. Clone of a Rocks member, okay. So is she betraying them because she's loyal to Vega? I mean, she because he made her, right? Again, I'm eating. Let me stop. I'm just thinking in my head. Sorry. Okay, so. Vega, so Vega made her, as we know, at the beginning of last chapter, right? And he said that it was going to be a step to world peace. And I was thinking, like, what that meant. And if you look at, like, the cover where, um, if you look at this, well, the, the cover here and the cover before where you had a young Dufeld who was their financer, who was Mads' uh, financer, you can see the word pacifism, like, in their flag. So world peace and peace was always, like, a goal of Vegapunks for sure. And then on top of that, you consider the word pacifistas. So maybe the pacifistas, maybe he's saying world peace will be achieved by having like pacifistas, not necessarily used by the world government, but just like as a sort of like police sort of, um, pol okay, I don't have to answer that, a policing, not, not, I don't want to say policing, but just sort of as like a guardian sort, sort of like sentinel sort of like position, you know, maybe Stussy was like the first pacifista in that respect. And I'm not talking about the like, like like Kuma. I'm just saying like his first attempt at like creating like some sort of peacekeeping soldier, maybe. Because you know, Seraphim are pacifista, Kuma like clones of Kuma were pacifista, so maybe you know Stussy is the same thing here. What? Just a moment. What is this? Why are the CB0 agents at each other's throat? Friendly fire, huh? This is Stussy. I put them both to sleep. That's fantastic news. Stussy came through. Hey, nice. So Stussy's a good guy. So she, uh, I wonder if she'll actually betray at the end, though. We'll see. Not too trusting of her yet. She did. I mean, she she shot that one. She shot Defeld during Cold Cake Island, right? And she did escape with Morgan. So. Okay. York pulled together. Huh? What's going on? Rob Lucci was beaten. No doubt he was taken by surprise. Her loyalty, me, her loyalty to me was kept secret even after, even after she spent 20 years as one of their agents. You had a mole in the intelligence branch. It wasn't our intention, but that's how it turned out. That's nice. Yeah, so, like, this was also something that I was wondering. Like, how, like, how the revolutionary... So, like, if Vegapunk is in contact with Dragon and Stussy is secretly loyal to Vegapunk, then CP's, like, they can know CP0's actions. So... Maybe like that that chain of communication is something that's established. Doctor, unfortunately, my authority level is the same as Luigi, so I can't override his orders and stop the Seraphim. Okay. You've done plenty, Stussy. We're on our way. We need to stop those runs before they flatten the others. Right, and is it just me or do those kids look familiar? Yeah. I know. Especially that one. Oh shit, he's talking about Mihawk, huh? Zoro's talking about Mihawk, isn't he? Yeah, he's the only, the kid. The kid hawk is not shown here. So I guess Zoro fights me. The Seraphim Hawk. Jinbei will fight this guy. Bonnie will fight. Um, Jinbei will. Uh, so Zoro fights S Hawk. Jinbei fights S Shark. Bonnie might fight S Bear, and then I guess Nami or Robin will fight S Snake. I don't know. And then Kazaru's on the way. Okay. 
Fuey, and that's probably Luffy's matchup, I guess. Fuey, they won't stop blowing holes in the lab. They, though I suppose we can use those extra ex exits to get out faster. And I'm out. Hey, Seraphim, listen. Huh? Oh, shit, Zoro's gonna stop it. Damn. Kid Hawk. Zoro versus Kid Hawk. Yeah, I was right. Okay, on, close, on closer inspection, you're not the same. You actually have a spark of humanity. <laughs> That's dope. On closer inspection, you're not the same. Okay. Damn, S Hawk is a little frustrated. Didn't he? Didn't he look a little like Mihawk? Was never shown to have like this sort of like you know, um, quote unquote like stressed uh, face. Actually, before I continue, I gotta move a meeting from one thirty. Give me one sec. Oh wow! As soon as I come. Moved that so I have enough time to fucking <laughs> react here. This is a kind of like a discombobulated live reaction. Anyway. Okay. What the hell are you? Okay. Seraphim, quit it. Stop fighting immediately, Edison. Oh no, did he Oh shit he aimed at him? Damn, S S S Shark aimed at Edison. No, he can't be. Oh, Sanji saved him. <laughs> Edison the cry. That is like that is like um typical Nintendo cute Oda sort of thing. <laughs> I do like Edison though. He's probably my him him. Yeah, I like all of them really. I mean, I guess my least favorite is probably like York. I guess, but I like all of them. The Seraphim finally listened. <laughs> Can someone tell me what these things are? Shaka, I've bound Luchi and Kaku at Seastone. Much obliged, Sussy. We're leaving the island. You should come with us. Understood. Hey, you can't keep adding people. Interesting. Yeah, you know, you know, it's funny. Like, I know these guys are like Seraphim, but you can you never really recognize like the size, like the fact that Kid Hawk is as big as Zoro. Like, you don't, because I remember like when he fought Blackbeard or when him and Blackbeard like skirmish, like seemed very like um, they like Kid Hawk was like or S Hawk was like smaller than him, but now he's the same size as. I mean, Blackbeard is bigger than Zoro, but the fact that S Hawk and Zoro are like the same size is kind of funny, but. Yeah, now you can like look at the size of these seraphim and like really take it like into consideration, you know. Hey Bonnie, where'd you go? Old man punk, we can't leave without you. A truly unexpected development. Old man, Dr. Ma Vegapunk's main Stella body has vanished. Is this what Oh, oh, wait, is it is this what was happening like with the robot? When they first met Vegapunk, like he was coming in and out, or like phasing in and out. Maybe, maybe that's what's going on. I don't know. I guess. Okay, let's see. Sphinx, New World, Whitebeard's hometown. Mark, are we? Oh shit! Okay, are we? Dude, are we about to get um? What's his name? Weevil and Bakken. Because like when when he when they left when he left uh, Shanks's ship when he left Shanks's ship like there was that dot 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 when he was going to the island. Oh shit. I hope Marco's okay. It was so scary. Not for me. I wasn't scared. There were Marines all over the place. I'm really sorry, kids, Yoi. I didn't mean to leave you in such a bad spot. There were Marines. 
It's not your fault, Marco. Those marine meanies were the worst. They said they were here for Whitebeard's treasure. They were just like pirates. If you play nice, you won't get hurt. Whitebeard's treasure? I guess, uh, okay, so maybe, maybe Whitebeard's treasure is not what's... Because Whitebeard's treasure was family, and he did, he never really had, like, anything that was, like... I mean, aside from his spear, right? Like, Murasaki, whatever it's called? I, Nagumo or something like that? I don't know, but... So I guess, rather more important than Whitebeard's treasure... That just seems like it's, like, like some riches or some fortune or something. These pirates... Who the hell are they? Or they're marines, but they were dressed like... They're marines, and they dress like... Are these, like, some unruly... G G five are they G five? No, it must be like G zero or something. Remember, this place isn't government affiliated. You have no legal right. This guy looks like um one of those early uh, One Piece characters, Nezumi, I think. Is it Nezumi, the guy like the maybe? Okay, Whitebeard. Okay, anyway, let me keep reading. Whitebeard must have kept all his treasure here. If you don't tell us, we'll consider it an act of defiance. What the hell? I could shoot you all one by one if you think that'll make you more talkative. There's no treasure here. Stop pointing that gun at my little brother. You really won't treat us as fellow humans just because we can't pay the government? You must. Are you sure it's wise to act tough when Marco is not around? So maybe CP0 relayed information that Marco was at Wano and then that's how they came in here? Because this is happening while he was away, right? So Hold, hold her still. Yeah, stop it. Please stop this. Granny, steady. Please stop this. She's just an old lady. Granny, hmm? Plot, plot, plot. He's like shaking, okay? What's going on here? Oh, shit. It is Weevil. It is Weevil. I knew he was going to come here. Okay, all right. Damn, Weevil saved them. Okay, hands off. Blah. So they came here, yeah, so they defeated Ao, and when, when we got introduced to we Weevil early on, they defeated Ao and stuff, right? So they're looking to defeat Marco now, okay. Step away from Pappy's home! <laughs> Captain Rattel, okay, so he is, okay, so he's basically, yeah, because Nizumi means mouse in Japanese, so. It's Edward Wee. Weevil! Warships were meant to hunt down the warlords. Now they're disbanded. Yeah. So I don't think one of the did the did the Seraphim go after? I mean, I guess maybe S Shark or because S Bear was so S Snake and S Hawk went after Hancock. I guess S Bear or sorry, uh, no, no. What am I saying? So S Hawk and S Snake went after um, Blackbeard or Hancock and thus Blackbeard, but. S Shark might have went after Weevil, and then S Bear was with CP Zero, right? Okay. Now we've lost all contact with the other squad. He got them all. What strength? He's a bona fide monster. Get back to the ship. We need to wait for base backup. This is Sphinx. And next world order showed up. It's Weevil requesting immediate assistance. Okay. If that big guy hadn't shown up, the village would be toast. What a hero. I'm glad to see you're all safe. Oh, shit. Bakken. That wasn't the end of it, Marco. Who do you think they sent in after that call for backup? None other than Admiral Ryoku Giyu, and he wasn't pulling any punches. They've taken my sweet weevil away. Get me my beloved son back. And while you're at it, fork over Newgate's inheritance, too. They've taken my sweet weevil away. Damn. Okay. So green... Okay, okay. You know, ad okay, so we got an Admiral versus a Warlord, you know? I mean, we, we kind of saw that with Dofi versus Kuzan, but... Okay, okay. Sorry, I'm looking at something here. Okay. Let me put this on. Let's see. All right, sorry about that. Okay, so we kind of got that with Do Dofi versus Kuzan, but now we have, like, a legitimate fight that happens. So it looks like an Admiral is at least above a young... I don't want to say a young white beard because it doesn't look like it's necessarily a young white beard. Maybe like a clone, but okay, Aramaki above Weevil. Okay, see, I always like Green Bull. His whole introduction, I thought, was just very. I mean, like his character was just really whack to me. Aside from like wanting to search for uh, Sakazuki's approval, and then you know, kind of like being kind of like Luchi saying like the gods are above us. You know, they're the rulers of this world, and 
his powers in itself were not the coolest and yeah just just overall easily my least favorite admiral but this i think you know actually doing something of of um importance it was pretty pretty you know it elevates him a little bit i think so okay all right so aramaki beat aramaki beat or green bull aramaki is his real name green bull beat uh weevil okay yeah because like when you think about it the ending of wano with like green bull and shanks that seemed like such like a promo for film red you know it didn't seem like really like i mean it worked it worked in the story but it didn't see like you know you, you got to feel like it fits you know and it does you know technically it fits it just doesn't it just doesn't come across as quote-unquote genuine as like you know a introduction like um kuzan's like after um after skypea for example something like that is what i mean so anyway that's okay not a big deal it's fine former member of the rocks pirate self-proclaimed side oh, okay so this is sussy miss mads resident free mads resident freeloader miss buckin buckingham stussy that's awesome that makes a okay so yeah okay so bakken bakken was the person bak okay so that wasn't stuss okay that was yeah of course oh, that's I'm an idiot okay that makes so much sense everyone was saying like stussy was like a clone of bakken yeah so got it now yeah okay so that was bakken like on the cover with like the young mads members got you okay so that wasn't Stussy who was the clone, that was actually her. Okay. Makes sense. Former member of the Rocks Pirates, self proclaimed scientist, Miss Bucken. Damn, so a young young Bakken look like that? Damn, Whitebeard could have had that. She definitely loves him too. Weevil, Mama sent to prison for protecting his father's village. Isn't it? Isn't this tragic? Don't you think our boy has a noble soul? Well, I appreciate you guys protecting this police at least, Yoi. Marco, I can hear you turn. You still, you still doubt he's white beards? Well, I know someone who can prove it. Doctor Vegapunk. Vegapunk. Veg. So I guess Weevil is a clone of Whitebeard. Don't you think our boy has a noble soul? Kizaru-san, we've prepared snacks and tea for our guest. I'm sure you remember to test for poison, right? Of course, sir. I'll take it to him. Back to your post. Yes. Okay. Oh, this is looking like some big-ass fucking reveal. Okay. Kiz Kizaru-san, we've prepared snacks and tea for our guest. I'm sure you've remembered to test for poison, right? Of course, sir. We've prepared for snacks and tea. I'm sure you remember to test... Someone on the inside tried to kill them? I'm sure you remember. So there's a marine and a world gor Is this a Gorosei meeting? Don't tell me Saturn is the name of a Gorosei member. Okay, hold on. We've prepared snacks and tea for our guest. I'm sure you remember to test for poison, right? Okay, so they're the ones preparing the food. But still, somehow, they have to test for poison? I guess because someone on the inside may be trying to kill... So, if it's the Marines, someone on the inside of the Marines, maybe... Maybe Aegis? I'm sorry, um... It's maybe Sword, excuse me? Yeah, maybe a Sword member? Is trying to kill a World Government member? Which I guess in this case is either a World Noble or a... Maybe a Gorse member? Okay. I'll take I'll take it to him back to your post. Yes, okay. Oh, Kizaru san we prepared. Of course. I'll take it. To, okay, so Kizaru is take Okay, so Kizaru is taking snacks to someone. So the admirals can be called upon by the Gorosei member. Okay, so this is we're going to Are we about to see a Gorosei member, dude? Okay. Back to your post. Yes, sir. Then we see the marine and the world government fight. Okay, yeah, so the, okay, I, I'm I'm assuming Kizaru is about to meet with the Gorosei member or a world government member. And whoever this member is, is Saturn. I assume. Alright, let's scroll down. So, have you ever met Dr. Vegapunk before? It is a Gorosei member. It's the... Uh, this is kind of fucked up, but the Jewish-looking kind of dude. Okay, so have you ever met Dr. Vegapunk before? Hmm. Once, a long time ago, I think what's happening now is truly such a shame. Saint J. Garcia Saturn. 
one of the big wigs finally makes a move. Yo, let's go. It is a Gorosei member. So this guy met Vegapunk a long time ago. I think what's happening now is truly such a shame. Jay Garcia Saturn. Saturn. Okay. Saturn, huh? So I guess Saturn... So since it's a planet, all the other Gorosei members will have some more planet names, like Venus and Mercury and Mars. You know what was interesting? I was reading Archer's, um, his fan-made manga. For, hold on one second. Okay, my bad. So, I was reading Arthur's like his fan comic for the Reverie like years a couple of years ago, and he put a Mercury power on um, the Russian-looking dude, the one with like the, the 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 splotches and the spots on his skin, like up here, like at his forehead. Huh. So he called this guy Stavros, which I thought was a really good name for this guy, but his name is Jay Garcia Saturn. Interesting. All right. Yeah, but anyway, to the Mercury point. Yeah, so the the guy with the splotches and the spots on his skin, he had Mercury powers. Which I thought was a pretty cool power. Th those powers fit. He, like, whatever he gave them, those powers fit. So, okay. I think what's happening now is truly such a shame. Okay. Jay Garcia Saturn. Okay. Damn. So, M used, a, like, a like a meteor like planet sort of thing to take down Lelouchia kingdom so is M representative of like the the earth maybe or the sun it could be the sun or the sun and the moon because like it's the center of the solar system so my, my, my head's just racing a little bit so five planets huh huh so you have Saturn so one of the Gorosei is named... So this is what I was saying at the beginning of this video. So I know the ancient weapons are named after gods, but planets are named after gods. So if a Gorosei member is named after a planet, I like the Gorosei and the ancient weapons, like... I don't know. Interesting. Okay, anyway. Jay... That's a... That's a that, dude, Jay Garcia Saturn, dude. That's a pretty... That's a pretty sick name, dude. Jay Garcia. It's kind of funny, kind of weird too, but Jay Garcia. <laughs> Sounds like an NPC like in a video game. <laughs> Jay Garcia. Okay. So have you ever met Dr. Vegapunk before? Hmm. Once a long time ago. So how old is Vegapunk? He was like 33 or something when he met a uh, dragon, right? On the... Uh on uh, Ohara, on the burned remains of Ohara, so, hmm. J. Garcia Saturn, okay. Let, let's, uh, let's, let's read the, in, in, re, in addition to referencing the planet God, uh, Saturn's name might refer to two unrelated musicians, Jerry J. Garcia, his name is very simple, is very similar, and he bears a visual resemblance to the character. There's also Russell Garcia who wrote, a, who wrote who wrote a song called "The Lost Souls of Saturn." Rattel is named after the honey badger. Okay. Oh, he was a honey badger. Okay, so that was that wasn't a rat. Okay, that one marine who got messed up. All right. Jay Garcia Saturn. That's a <laughs> that's a pretty good name. I can't even front. Man, the guy who looks like Gandhi. I wonder. I want to know what his name is gonna be because. I, my favorite of Gorsei is probably either um, no no it, it 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 it's the dude who looks like he's a martial artist the guy with the long ass mustache you know he looks like a, the he, he got like Roku uh Roku Shiki um, powers in um, Arter's fan comic so all right okay so we got Bucken and we Bucken and Weevil damn so Marco might go after a Green Bull but I don't think he can win that right Marco going after Green Bull. Because I'm pretty sure, like, with Kizaru, quote-unquote, beating 
Marco during the um, fucking uh, uh, Marineford War, and now Greenbull beating King and Queen, even though they might have still been a bit damaged. I think it's pretty clear admirals are above first commanders, right? So, dang, or first and second commander since Queen's a second commander. Yeah, so we got Weevil Bakken, J. Garcia, Saturn. Okay. Looks like Vegapunk disappeared due to his, uh, whatever was going on with the robot at the beginning of Vegapunk. Or at the beginning of the Egghead arc. At, at, the, at the beginning of this arc. Alright. J. Garcia, Saturn. I just can't get over that name, dude. J. Garcia, Saturn. <laughs> It's a great name. What a name. All right. Jay Garcia Saturn. I, I can't wait to watch like recons and like, uh, damn, I didn't even know like my camera was a bit fucked up. I can't wait to watch recons and KOL's reaction to this chapter, so. Hmm. All right, a lot to think about. Um, Yeah, no, that's basically the chapter, guys. I'll, uh, I'm getting pinged a lot now, so I'm going to end the video here and... Um, yeah, we'll just keep it going, you know. Uh, honestly, like I'm, I'm starting to like reread some of the stuff after after Wano up until now because one of the things is like I'm just trying to start to I'm trying to like digest, if you will, and let the story marinate, if you will. Because like sometimes what happens is like you read a chapter and like you something awesome happens and you understand it, but even though I say you understand like what happened, like what you just read, you don't under understand it you know you don't understand like what this means long term what what are the themes oda is trying to portray you know that's the sort of thing that i'm talking about so that's what i'm saying like ever since wano ended i've been just trying to do that like the whole thing with cross guild for example right this is this is one example um cross guild i was wondering like what was the point of combining mihawk crocodile and buggy together like why like what 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 is he trying to do there right like why would Oda as an author tried to do that. And you think about Cross Guild's goal, which is to, to hunt Marines. And if there is some payoff to this, if there is a reason for Cross Guild even being made, that means that some important Marine and Cross Guild, they're bound to like interact at some point. And I was wondering, you know, is that Marine either going to be, it's probably got to be an Admiral, maybe Garp, because he's the only other non Admiral that's like, you know, worth anything. And if not them, the only other person I can think of is maybe Kong. Like, Kong needs some, like, you know, he's, like, he was above Sengoku, you know? So it's, like, maybe he's their end goal? I don't know. But I think, you, and to kind of illustrate my point, right, like, I put myself in Otis, like, his his shoes, and I'm just thinking, thinking to myself, like, yo, why did I make cross skill? Like, is there um, a payoff to this team-up? And a clash with the Marine, with a Marine, or one or two Marines, whatever it is, might be that. So similarly, I've been going through, you know, some of the chapters now, and that's why, like, you know, things like the mad, sci like mad standing for, presumably standing for mad scientist, right? That's how I realized that. Um, that's how I noticed like the pacifism flag on the cover with Dufeld, and then you know I related that to pacifista, what uh, Vega Punk said at the beginning of last chapter, where he was like, you know, Stussy is a step to world peace, and I realized like, you know, okay. Peace and order is certainly like something that is trying to be shown like in this arc, you know. Um, the whole thing with the robot and it trying to climb like the red wall and lay siege to Mary Jo, you know, things like that. Just trying to understand, let it marinate and digest all that and see how all of that fits into the bigger picture, you know. Because like kind of like what I was saying earlier with Vegapunk and Kaido, how things were leading up to them. I think like there's something like going on here with that. So just trying to see like what what is the thing here? Like what is going on here? Is it because you know one one of the things that's been happening you know since ever since Wano has been like the whole state of world affairs just being like fucked. You know, so maybe this is just that. Maybe that's just you know things just going out of what well you know wacky order if you will. So yeah. Anyway, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you guys for watching and uh, yeah. Uh, did they say there was a break next week? I didn't actually catch that. Uh... See, so the name I saw was Jorgerica Saturn, not Jay Garcia Saturn. 
But that's a, that's a great name, Jay Garcia Stout. Like, I, I I know I've said it before. Okay, so, okay, there is a break next week, right? But for such an important sounding person like this, like, Jay Garcia is, like, Jay Garcia sounds like a, like a UFC fighter, like, you know, one of those, like, um, business people, if you will. <laughs> not like a king of the world, you know? I don't know. <laughs> Not, not, not that I'm complaining. It's, it's like a, it's just like what a name, you know. It's like damn, Jay Garcia Statter. Jay, Jay Garcia. Statter. I, 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 I guess the name Garcia works, but it's like, what if it's like Rodriguez Garcia Statter? That would be interesting. Rodrigo, Jay Garcia Statter. I just can't stop saying that word, Jay Garcia Statter. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Anyway, anyway, that's enough. Um, me being whack and stuff and weird uh yeah i'll end the video here uh tell me tell me what you guys think and yeah i'll see you guys on the flip side